Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 10 of the reason why really I ended up at the Duke's Mansion. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Every girl. <laughs> like, oh no, I dropped my handkerchief. That's pretty. Okay. <laughs> well <sighs> Yeah, of course they did. Right. 
right? See, that's your problem. 150 years with no friends or family. Did them words just come out of his mouth like <laughs> help him? We we need to talk about your wording because your wording right now is not the greatest. You wouldn't be her grandfather. You wouldn't even be her father. You would be her friend. I'm friends with her. Not trying to be like siblings and such or family members. Friends. Do you not know the definition of friends? I, I am in absolute pain right now. I, I swear. Oh, my God. Somebody get this boy a dictionary. Right? Oh. Somewhere. Uh, anywhere but me, but here. Oh, oh, okay. That's not good. Did he just get older? <laughs> He's so pretty though. Like he, he handsome. Really? Okay.
Duh. Oh my god, here we go with this ish. I mean, she's in good hands. bad feeling about this. Dead. Again. Right? You can't do that! But that's really for your protection. Ian. Why can't you just tell him now? Oh. <laughs> That's what you get for yelling at her. Not only that, but other things, babe.
I mean, this is like, we know that they're true feeling because he liked her. Ooh. Sir, you, yeah, uh, no, stop, 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 stop. You are leaving without answering the question. Do you love her or not? Be honest. We all know you gotta be honest. You love her! Men. Fucking men. I swear to God. Make up your mind! But it's not, not to him. Here we go at this again, oh my god! Oh, God. No, I see in the carriage with you. Oh, we're not gonna talk about last night. You better be in there, I swear to God. Seriously? N no talk? I can't. I can't. Are we talking about Vivian?
Because she was the one who left the brunch. Of course it is. Oh, that's BS. Of blood. I'm gonna have to listen to her voice again real quick. You know what? No, no. You know what? No. Let's just go right to the source real quick. Okay? Because, um... I, I, mm. Because if that's her, this changes everything. Oh. Jesus. Please, please, God. <laughs> I beg you. Don't let it be her. Even though I have a feeling it's gonna be her. It's going to be her. I got to look. Okay. It doesn't say. Okay. But still. It sound like her. Because, I'm I, once again, I'm just going to have to listen to it again. Mm -hmm. I got to listen to it one more time. But that re that sounds like my favorite saying. Oh, and she's friends with Vivian. That's different. Because I'm guessing she wasn't friends with Vivian. So, what? Timeline. Timeline. Context clues. Something, man. Uh-uh. You, you can't just... Mm-mm. 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 This ain't right. This ain't happening. This ain't good. Um, just, just no. No. This is very fishy. Very, very, very fishy. Just not good. Just not good at all. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. I gotta look up one more thing about her real quick. So, and let me go to Twitter. But, I mean, the episode was good. Like, literally having these two have a moment in the chamber and such but first it was to like a little fight and then you know her and got pushing him and him really just having the thought of losing her because you can tell that his thoughts are, are genuine in that moment that's really genuine he's not thinking as oh hey we're we're in this deal He's thinking as a man who is in love with her and such. And I think by the end of this, because I think we got, what, a good one or two weeks left with the show before it's done. Um, he might confess, but even at the time when they were looking at the fireworks together, I really, truly thought he was going to confess up until Rayliana saw Beatrice's blonde hair and assumed that was her. We don't really know if that truly was her, but I think at the same time it had to be her. But now that we have her right here at the end of this episode, 
and with the one, two episodes we got left, it's like, are they going to meet in the next two weeks and such? If they are, how is this going to end? What all is going to go down and such? And is she going comparing this to, like, um, I'm a villainess, I'm teaming the final boss and such? Is she going to know who Rayliana was in the real world? Is she also somebody who also died that night as well? And is friends with the girl who became Rayliana? Like, there, there's a lot of things that they could really truly go from this. But... Let me, let, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me let me go ahead and listen to this one more time. That really sounds like Saudi. Saudi, how you mean? I, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to look it up. Cause I mean, seriously, it has no answer on freaking my anime list. So now I either have to go on Hyamin's page, her Twitter page, and check, or just still do more snooping. But seriously, whoever she's voiced by, you sound close to Hyamin. And it's like, because she's my favorite Seiyu, and I like her in anything, I don't know how I'm going to feel if, she play, if she's playing a villainous role. But, hey, I ain't mad. You know, you go get your coin. You do whatever you got to do. So if you got to play the bad guy, you play the bad guy. But... <laughs> so once again, hate Vivian. I hope she really gets in some deep, deep trouble with that brooch. That's all I gotta say about that. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of the reason why Riliana ended up at the Duke's Mansion. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos there some way. Enjoy the Monster Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 11. Bye, guys.